You're watching Football Daily and here are this week's biggest transfer news and headlines. It's been a busy week in the rumour mill so we have a big episode lined up for you today. Without further ado, let's get going. We kick off at Liverpool who will soon be preparing for their Champions League quarterfinal clash with Real Madrid next week. And in the build-up to the rerun of the 2018 final, Spanish publication Marca held an interview with Reds top scorer Mo Salah who went off in that game after being injured by Real captain Sergio Ramos. As well as discussing that fateful night, Salah hinted that he'd be open to a move to Spain in the future, adding yet more fuel to rumours that he wants to leave Anfield for La Liga. The Egyptian's agent has long linked him with a move to Barcelona, something he has become more vocal about in recent months, and when quizzed on his Liverpool future this time round, Salah said, It's not up to me, we'll see what happens, but I prefer not to talk about this now. A pretty vague answer, but one which suggests Liverpool may be considering selling their star player this summer, especially if they are serious about going in for a marquee signing like Mbappe, Sancho or Haaland. Ibrahima Kanate looks likely to join for around 40 million euros, with RMC Sports reporting that the defender has already passed some of his medical, so a big sale may be needed if they want to make another significant investment. Salah turns 29 in June, so now is probably the final chance the Reds will have to make a big profit on the star, and it would also be an opportune moment for the forward to join another elite side while he's still at his peak. But what do you reckon? Can you see Liverpool selling Salah this summer? Let us know in the comments. Over to Old Trafford now as Man United continue to be linked with midfielders. A report in the International Business Times on the weekend suggested that Paul Pogba could still leave this summer, with Real Madrid and Juventus remaining potential destinations, and reiterated the fact that Donny van der Beek was signed as a replacement of sorts for the Frenchman. Of course, it didn't quite work out like that, with the pandemic scuppering any chance of Pogba leaving Manchester. But with the possibility he could depart this time round, another midfield signing could be in the offing, as the Red Devils look to add more quality depth to the squad. And a report this week by German outlet Bild has claimed they are interested in RB Leipzig star Marcel Sabitzer. A versatile, defensively astute midfielder who can operate as a deep-lying playmaker or in a more advanced role, Sabitzer may fit the profile United are looking for, with the double pivot of Fred and McTominay receiving criticism recently for its lack of forward thrust. But they will of course face competition. Tottenham are long-time admirers of the Austrian international and are apparently favourites to sign him, while Liverpool also apparently remain interested, with Leipzig valuing the 27-year-old at £36 million. With his contract up in 2022, it looks like Sabitzer's seven-year stay with Red Bull may finally come to an end this summer, and he would no doubt relish the chance to showcase his talent in the Premier League. Meanwhile, talk of a move for Watford forward as Mayla Saar has also resurfaced this week. United were interested in signing the Senegalese international last summer, with Watford's former technical director Filippo Giraldi saying this week that while an agreement wasn't reached, Saar was very close to joining the Red Devils. Seen as a cheaper alternative to Jadon Sancho, the 23-year-old was also strongly linked with Liverpool and has hit nine goals and four assists for the Hornets in the championship so far this term. If United continue to be disappointed in their pursuit of Sancho or decide to invest more heavily in other areas of the team, Saar could be on the cards once again. There could be quite a few key departures from Napoli this summer. First of all, Nikola Maksimovic is set to leave when his contract expires at the end of June, with West Ham, Roma and Inter among the clubs linked with the Serbian defender. With the 29-year-old not short of options, whoever wants to land him will have to offer regular football and meet his reported €3 million Euro a year wage demands. Meanwhile, Tiemue Bakayoko's time in Naples could be short-lived, at least according to Gazzetta dello Sport's Nicolo Shearer. Apparently, the Serie A side isn't planning for a future with the midfielder, despite him making more league appearances than Fabian Ruiz and Herving Lozano this season, meaning that unless Thomas Tuchel can find a place for him back at Chelsea, he may be forced into another loan at a new club. However, with his contract up in 2022, the Blues will be keen to get a fee for him this summer, so Napoli would be in a great position to land a bargain. We can certainly see the Italian Giants changing their tune on this one. And finally, the future of Kaladu Koulibaly has returned to the back pages. Once consistently linked with every top club in Europe, it appeared interest had waned somewhat in the 29-year-old over the last few months. But this week, both Liverpool and Everton have been reported to be keen on the Senegalese centre-back, and while it's unlikely the Reds would sign both him and Canate this summer, a transfer to Goodison Park isn't out of the realms of possibility. 
Koulibaly, of course, worked with Carlo Ancelotti in Naples, and according to Football Insider, the Everton boss wants a world-class defender to join his ranks. Apparently, the club will be willing to sell Yerry Mina in order to fund the move, while Gazzetta dello Sport have reported that Napoli may line up Feyenoord's Marcos Senesi as his replacement. Before we move on to our headline story, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Daily if you haven't done so already. We put videos like this out every single day, so you really don't want to miss out. Go on, hit that subscribe button. On Monday evening, it was announced that Sergio Aguero will be leaving Manchester City in the summer, following a legendary 10-year spell at the Etihad in which he scored a club record 257 goals and won four Premier League titles, a figure which will in all likelihood be added to come May. On yesterday's Euro transfer talk on EFD, we discussed what his next step might be, so go over there after this if you want to find out more. But today we're looking at who Manchester City could replace the mercurial Argentine with, beginning in the obvious place. Erling Haaland is reportedly the club's top target this summer, and it's no surprise, with the Norwegian striker hitting the back of the net every 74 minutes this term and getting better every week. But with reports stating that Borussia Dortmund have stuck a 180 million euro price tag on their prized asset, and agent Mino Raiola reiterating his broken relationship with Pep Guardiola this week, City's pursuit could be seriously disrupted. In an interview with The Athletic, Raiola stated that he'd, quote, closed the book a long time ago with the former Barcelona boss. Another world-class option, albeit an unrealistic one, is Harry Kane, who recently stated he would decide his future following the Euros this summer, leading to speculation that defeat in the League Cup final could be the final straw for his Tottenham career. However, with his Spurs contract not up until 2024 and a market value well in excess of £100 million, it seems unlikely that City would pursue Kane, who turns 28 this summer. The Premier League leaders have also been linked with Romelu Lukaku in recent months, and while he is arguably almost as important to Inter Milan as Kane is to Tottenham, could be secured for a smaller fee. While the Nerazzurri are obviously keen to keep hold of the Belgian star, their financial future remains uncertain, with Gazzetta dello Sport reporting that the club are 630 million euros in debt. If they are forced to sell, Lukaku may be seen as a necessary sacrifice, and City could use the situation to secure a cut price deal, as they did with Ferran Torres at Valencia last summer. And finally, a player we spoke about last week, Danny Ings. Very much the wildcard option, Ings has been superb for Southampton since joining from Liverpool in 2018, and has the all-round quality needed to succeed in Guardiola's forward line. However, having missed over two months with injury this season, he isn't the most reliable fitness-wise, even if his contract situation at St Mary's means he could be secured on the cheap. But who would you sign for Man City if Haaland is out of reach? Let us know in the comments below and we'll pin the most interesting suggestion. Sticking at Man City for our final story, as Aguero may not be the only veteran leaving the Etihad. That's because, according to Sam Lee at The Athletic, Fernandinho could depart when his contract expires in June. Pep Guardiola will no doubt want to keep one of his most trusted acolytes, but apparently there is a sense in the City dressing room that the Brazilian is entering his final months in England, having been at the club for almost eight years. His agent has also talked up the possibility of a return to Atletico Paranaense, whom he left for Shakhtar Donetsk back in 2005. With no talks having taken place over a new deal as yet, one of City's biggest leadership figures is edging closer towards the door. So that's all we have time for on this week's transfer talk, but which of these moves can you see happening? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to reply. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a like, and as I said earlier, why not check out yesterday's Euro transfer talk over on Euro Football Daily, where we discuss where Aguero could go next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.